everything weird. Hi guys, it's me Keith. Uh, this time I'm going to teach you about Adobe Photoshop. So, ganito po yung gagawin natin. I'm going to use English and at the same time Tagalog so that uh, we're going to, of course, be comfortable with the language that I'm going to use for you to teach. Okay? So, the first thing that we need to do is to open Adobe Photoshop. Be sure that you have the latest version. Now, currently, I am using Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so it's... I know where to find it. Here. So, it is Adobe Photoshop CC. That's 20.0.0 release now. I'll be placing the link where you can download the trial version of this one. Um, you don't need to purchase it if you still don't have the budget, but if you want to try it, then pwede po natin gawin yan. Okay? So, shall we start? So, yung pinakauna po natin gagawin after installing Adobe Photoshop is just to click on the file menu, then click on new. So, a new window will appear po. So, marami po tayo ditong pagpipilian. Now, depende po sa template na gusto natin. Now, if you're not familiar with pixels, by the way, a pixel is a unit of measurement for graphic designs. Or, ito yung tinatawag natin na dots or tiny dots that composes or that creates an image. Okay, so it's like DPI or dots per inch, something like that. So, pixels. So, if pag hindi tayo familiar dyan, you can just click on inches. So, I'm going to use inches for us to be familiar. Now, I'm going to use the standard size of a short band bond paper, which is 8.5 by 11. So, ang gagawin ko po is naka-landscape. So, ikiklik ko po muna yung landscape or hindi pala. So, I'm just going to type in 11 for the width and 8.5 para sa height. Then, click OK or Create. There you go. So, ganito po yung mangyayari. Now, pag medyo malaki po siya, if you want to zoom it out, you can just click on this one. Meron po tayong tinatawag na Zoom Tool. So, click. Then, meron po tayo ditong nakalagay na Zoom Out. Click nyo lang. There. Okay? Pag medyo malaki. Okay? So, now, the next thing that you need to know in Adobe Photoshop is yung tinatawag natin na tools. Importante po yun alam natin. First, uh, here are the panels. Yung nasa taas po ang tawag po dito is file menu bar. So, the file menu bar is present in all Microsoft Windows and applications. Which means, pag nag-install ka po sa Microsoft Windows, kahit Microsoft Word pa yan, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, kahit Google Chrome, meron po tayong file menu bar. Then after that, meron po tayong tinatawag dito na tools panel or yung tinatawag natin na toolbar. Okay? Sa toolbar, ito po yung mga gagamitin natin. If ever we are going to create an image or if ever you are going to edit an image. So medyo marami po siya but as we go on with our tutorial, I'm going to make sure na maiintindihan ninyo kung ano yung purpose ng bawat isa. Then afterwards, ito po yung display area. Yung display area, dito po natin ilalagay lahat ng mga image na gagamitin natin. Next is, we have this one. So, color palettes. Para pag maglalagay tayo ng kulay, dito tayo kukuha. Then, meron tayong layers. Isipin nyo lang po na yung layers is parang, kumbaga, ito yung pagkakapatong-patong ng mga image na ilalagay natin dito sa loob ng ating canvas. Okay? So, if ever you want to add an image, automatically lalabas po siya dito sa layer. Later on, as we go on with the topic, makikita po natin yan. So, what else? So, by the way, if ever you are going to hover your mouse or ipopoint nyo po yung mouse dito sa tool, lalabas ko po kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng tool na yan at kung ano yung purpose there. At malalaman nyo rin kung paano siya gagamitin. So, meron po tayong makikita dyan na shortcut key. Sabi dito, rectangular marquee with a shortcut key of letter M. Which means, pag pipindutin po natin si letter M, lalabas po si rectangular marquee or maha-highlight si rectangular marquee. So, press ko po yung letter M, mapapansin po natin, naka-highlight na po siya. So, for the paint bucket, yan, 
press ko po letter G, automatically pupunta po dyan. Later on, pag gagawa na po tayo ng exercise or didiretso po tayo sa ating uh, project na gagawin, magagamit po natin yung bawat isa sa kanila. Okay? So, for now, yun lang po muna. Now, if you want to save your file, let's say you're done creating your file, ikiklik nyo lang po yung file, then click on save as, then kung saan nyo po gustong isave. So, let's say for example, I'm going to save it on my desktop, then I'm going to name this one as project1. Ganun lang po. Save. Okay? So, that's how you're going to create or you're going to manipulate Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so that's all for now. Bye.